Corbett Lunsford from Green Dream Group LLC in Chicago. We are in a finished crawl space. This is a really great example that I wanted to show uh, some of you about what's possible with a crawl space. Um, most of the houses that we see have unfinished crawl spaces, which means that either they are vented outside, um, they don't have a complete moisture barrier along the floor or on the walls, and they're insulated in the weirdest places. So it's kind of a confused space. This is an example of a perfect crawl space. So over here on the wall, First of all, I want to point out what I'm writing on is a mechanics stool, which is great to get around in in one of these uh, crawl spaces. Now, on the wall, you can see this surface right here, which is this kind of bumpy surface. It goes all the way down to the floor. It's solid. This is called expanding spray foam. Um, it's, uh, this is a closed cell version. It's only sprayed on at about uh, half an inch to two inches, but because it's continuous, you can't see any of the wall behind it, it provides a continuous air barrier and a continuous insulation layer, which is what you want with insulation. Uh, all insulation is good, but this stuff is fantastic, especially when it's applied correctly. And you can see all the way up here in what we call the rim joist, it's also continuous up there. So there's this solid membrane all over everything. And as you can see, it goes all the way down to meet with the floor. So you have another air barrier and, and moisture barrier along the, the floor line. Second thing about this uh, crawl space, is the tankless water heater. Uh, tankless water heaters are very cool because they're on demand and they're limitless, uh, ultimately. This is an especially cool one because, number one, it's very beautiful, obviously. They put it together in a, in a good way. The second thing about it is that the venting for it, this is called a sealed combustion condensing unit, uh, which means that because these are PVC, it's incredibly cheap to run this ducting. Um, Typical water heaters uh, of a typical efficiency, you'd have to duct with double walled stainless steel uh, pipe, which is really expensive. It can drive up the cost. So this is basically, this hose is taking air from outside, that's fresh air for the combustion process to happen. And then once the combustion process happens, this takes all of the air that's full of uh, carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide outside um, and dumps it out there as well. So this is a very safe and a highly efficient system. The third cool thing about this uh, crawl space is the high efficiency furnace. So again, PVC pipe running from outside for a fresh air intake, which is safe because it doesn't require air in the crawl space to burn, and sending the combustion uh, gases to outside as well. Um, and because this crawl space is finished and it's not vented to outside, all the duct work, which is uninsulated, this is okay because it's actually protected now that you've made this room a part of your house. It's going to be warm down here, as warm as the rest of your house, and it also means you don't have to insulate the floor cavity, which is directly above me. You can insulate at the walls, and now you've got a, a safe place to store things that may be temperature uh, delicate. Um, so uh, this is great, and I hope that many of you take on a project like this.